Hey, it's Mike again, product manager for Express PCB. Let's discuss component creation and custom components with Classic 7.9 and Express PCB 3.2. In our Classic 7.9 software, this is a very manual process, simple placement of pads, whether they're surface mounts or through holes, along with the silk screen and then conversion and saving into a custom part, uh, just like you would any normal design file. That same functionality exists inside of ExpressPCB 3.2. We have instructions in both software packages through our help menu that can walk through those processes. But where ExpressPCB 3.2 really outshines previous versions, is the addition of Snap EDA as well as our new LAN pattern tool. Express PCB 3.2, simply going to the part menu and selecting import part from Snap EDA will open up our interface to Snap EDA. You'll have to log in in order to download parts, but a simple email and password will do. Uh, simply put in what you would like to find in order to use on your design. Uh, we'll just do a basic search for LEDs. And once you have the results up, you'll be able to scroll down and take a look at some of the different options that are available to you. Uh, you can select, you'll see the previews here, you'll see how many items are in stock, and you'll see pricing. You also have the option to take a look at other competitors. Uh, obviously, DigiKey and Mauser are two of the larger ones out there, but you can also see some direct from Texas Instruments, and there are multiple other suppliers that they provide as well. And with Snap EDA, you can go ahead and see the data sheet right here through the GUI in our software, or you can just click on download if that's the part that you're looking for following part was converted and saved for future use. We'll click the OK button. Do we want to place the new part? Absolutely. And so with just that snap of a finger, here's our part ready to be placed. We can go ahead and rotate it. We can even mirror it if we wanted to make it be for bottom copper instead of top copper. And we go back through once that's oriented in the proper condition, a quick double click, and all of a sudden that's available to place. And a new custom part through Snap EDA is just that simple with Express PCB 3.2. We do have another option if you'd rather have a little bit more manual control that also saves a lot of time over that manual process. And inside the same part menu is going to be a new land pattern option. And in using that, you'll see a couple different options that we have here, uh, whether you're looking for an SMD, a QFP, uh, you can see how that translates and differentiates. Uh, you'll be able to set your pad pitches and gaps. Uh, if you wanna do just a dual inline, you can take a look at uh, something with a few less pads. You can do the numbering of your pins in the standard down and around configuration. If you need to change things up and kind of do an odd and even across, you can do that as well. And that's a simple way to create pads here in any configuration. If you're looking for surface mount or through hole, you can adjust size, you can adjust pad length, etc. Set your naming convention, go ahead and click on OK. And again, in the very same manner, it's available for placement, just that easy. And the process for the new land pattern tool is the same as you would for manual creation without having all the hassle of having to go and place each one of those pads individually, number them for your pin placements, etc., and do all the silk screen and pin one marking as well. As we've shown in partnership with Snap EDA and the addition of our new land pattern tool, component creation in Express PCB Plus version 3.2 really steps up the game in order to save you time, money, and effort and make your design process that much simpler. If you'd like to see a video about creating custom components, please comment below. Thank you. Thank you for taking a few minutes to join us today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe for future content. You can also comment below if you have any questions you'd like to have us answer, or if you have a topic you'd like to have us cover in the future. Most of our content comes from you, our customers, through comments and requests. Thanks again.